Welcome to Lecture Online. In this video, we're going to add some fractions together. But notice the first thing you should see is that the two denominators are not the same. So you can use the technique that we used in the previous video where you simply added the numerators together. You cannot do that here. You'll get the wrong answer. The second thing you should notice is that the smaller of the two denominators can, e can evenly fit into the larger denominator. 3 goes into 9 three times. And here again, notice that the smaller of the two denominators, 4, fits evenly into the larger of the two denominators, 16. 4 goes into 16 exactly four times. So that's what we call case 1. If the smaller of the denominators fits evenly into the larger of the two denominators, we can then very easily change that. We can then find easily the lowest common denominator. How is that done? As follows. Notice, to make the denominators the same, I want to make the smallest one as big as the bigger one. What do I need to do to the small denominator to turn into a 9? The answer is, I need to multiply it times 3. So let's do that. We have 2 thirds plus 1 ninth. And so what I need to do here is multiply the denominator of the small, of the small denominator here by 3. 3 times 3 gives me 9, so now it would have the same common denominator. But notice if I'm going to multiply the denominator times 3, I must do exactly the same to the numerator. Otherwise, my fraction is no longer the same fraction. I must also multiply the numerator times 3. Now, the fraction is still the same. If I multiply 2 times 3, I get 6. If I multiply 3 times 3, I get 9. 6 9 is the same as 2 thirds. So nothing really has changed except the format. Now it's in a format that I can actually add the two fractions together. This now becomes the following. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. I add plus 1 9. Notice now it looks just like the previous video. The two denominators are the same, and all I have to do is simply add the two numerators together. This becomes 6 plus 1 over the 1 common denominator 9 and I get 7 divided by 9 as the final solution. Let's do that again on this summation. Again, they're not the same, which means I have to change this one to this one to make them common. I end up with 5 over 16 plus 3 over 4. Notice I left some more space there because I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply this denominator times 4 because 4 times 4 is 16, that will make the two denominators the same or common. Again, if I do that to the denominator, I must do exactly the same to the numerator. I must multiply the numerator also times 4, which means I now end up with the following. I end up with 5 16 which is my original fraction here, but my second fraction now gets a different form. It's now 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16. Notice that 12 16 is exactly the same as 3 quarters, just a different form. And now that I have the denominators the same, I can simply add them. This now becomes 5 plus 12 divided by 16, that's the common denominator, which is 17 16 Notice it's an improper fraction. The numerator is larger than the denominator, but that's okay. I can leave it like that, or I can write it as a mixed number. It doesn't really matter. What we're trying to do here is simply show you how to add fractions together when the denominators are not the same, but when the smaller denominator fits evenly into the larger denominator. That's what we call case one of how to add fractions or subtract fractions. It doesn't matter if there's a plus or minus. You can do both. And how to do that when one denominator fits evenly into the other denominator. And that's how it's done.